Shabbat Shalom, everyone. I'm so happy to also be able to welcome all of you to the service. We are blessed by you specifically sharing your precious time with us. I am Cantor Aaron. This is the Torah Teaser, and I'm coming to you from my study. Uh, I have a picture, too, behind me, but it's of two ships shooting at each other, and um, it's called High Seas Diplomacy. My study, my artwork, and besides, I'm not allowed to hang that kind of stuff anywhere else in the house. So, there you have it. I'm assuming, anyways, that most of you have already observed your Passover meal. Maybe some of you are still yet to do it. But if you have, I hope it's been meaningful and it's been a blessing to you. The verses picked today for the readings, and they are Exodus 34.18, Ezekiel 37.14, and Matthew 26.26-28, go to the heart of this annual observance of Passover. I think I should make a quick point here before I move on, and that is, what is a Torah teaser? I realized last week that some of you don't typically go to our temple, and so you may not realize what this is. Well, it's a teaser, and that's it. It's not meant to form a complete message, but to entice you to look into scriptures, to read and understand them for yourself. The aim is not to interpret scripture, that is, the rabbi's area of insight. I am only the cantor, the main job being to initiate formal prayers during service, that we may pray as one together. My desire with the Torah teaser is that I may say something of value that will motivate a deeper search into scripture. With that in mind, today's picked verses are very straightforward in addressing Passover. We start with the Torah directing us to keep the Passover. We move to the Haf Torah, where the results of that Passover are laid out. And finally, <clears throat> the Passover meal itself with Yeshua, where its spiritual meaning is demonstrated and its completion through Yeshua's sacrifice is at hand. I thought there was two pretty interesting points, out of many, that I would like to highlight today. And that maybe are nice to consider as you go through the rest of Passover, this Passover time. The Torah and Haftorah echo the moniker of chosen, the Brich Hadashah, the reason behind a people chosen as a vehicle, leading to this sacrifice for salvation. So what does this mean, to be chosen? Or what of salvation? Well, what if we view chosen as a question, and salvation as an endpoint? Salvation is then the result of not just belief, but knowing, accepting, and repenting of our sins, our sins atoned for through the blood of Yeshua, a path leading to reconciliation with our God. What of chosen? What of the question of chosen? To be chosen is only to be picked to fill a need. Chosen as a question finds its answer through the actions of those chosen the acceptance of a responsibility. The decision you make every day based on the question, do I accept the responsibility of sharing God's love and care with the world around me? Do I expect accept the responsibilities of living out what I have been chosen for? If not, then being chosen is just a missed opportunity and sort of makes it meaningless. And my second point to ponder this week is and during the Passover season, is Yeshua's sacrifice itself. The question comes up in Scripture now and then as to which of the disciples was the most important. I want you to hold on to that thought, that question for a minute, and consider this statement. Yeshua died for our sin. It's a true statement. But when we think about our personal relationship with our God, it's sort of an impersonal way of expressing a very specific and personal sacrifice. For a minute, put yourself in the upper room, asking Yeshua the same question that concerned the disciples. Who is the most important person? Well, let's see if we can maybe bring a more personal meaning to the truism that Yeshua died for our sins. If you could ask that question, maybe imagine an answer like this. You are, because I'm here for you, sacrificing myself for you. And even if you were the only person on earth that required this sacrifice for your salvation, I would still make it. 
That, I think, is how personal Yeshua's sacrifice should be for each of us. Yeshua becoming our Passover lamb and his sacrifice was not only done because so many needed it, but because each of us individually did. During the rest of this Passover, as you consider this sacrifice, remember, you are important to God, you are important to the body of Yeshua, you are important to us, Beth Israel. God bless you.